Welcome back everyone to another episode of Let's Play Dragon Quest XI S Echoes of Elusive Age Definitive Edition on Nintendo Switch. Not a very long title at all. Last episode was uh, kind of a bonus episode where we were just spending lots of time in a casino, getting lots and lots of tokens, and luck is very much on my side. As you can see, we have over 11,000, no not 11,000, 60,000. <laughs> so we have a ton of tokens, we have enough for this really awesome sword they have in there. So let's go cash in these tokens to get that sword. Hello. Maybe you'll go home a millionaire. Yeah, I'm not gonna go home a millionaire because you guys only do tokens. You don't do money. Like they don't actually do real gold coins that you can use in stores. If they did that, I'd be rich right now. I'd be spending that money right now crazy. But they they do useless gold, you know, slot tokens that are only you can only exchange them for prizes here. And we're gonna do that. We're gonna exchange them for prizes. So here it is, the casino after hours. Uh, and that guy's still asleep, and I'm gonna knock over his cards. Senor, why would you do such a thing? Because I'm evil. The evil luminary. Hello there. Whoa, is she nice? Yeah, every day he builds a house of cards, and every day someone comes and knocks it over. Well, that someone is me. As you can see, I'm bad to the bone. That don't look like it. So anyway, we should probably cash in these tokens because let's just cash them in. All right. 66,638. 66, uh, the Platinum Sword. This will make me so strong. It'll make me a lot stronger. It'll be a sword I won't trade for a while. All right. 50,000 50, tokens. And I'll be holding on to that, and I'll equip it. All right. Holy crap. Look at it. Look at it on his back. Look at that sword. Whoa. That is so cool. My new sword. Let's check it out even closer. Wait, no. Up. That thing is that thing is pretty sick. It's got like the red on it and the gold. Probably really tough too. What was I? In? I completely forgot why I was in this town. Oh yeah, I was supposed to see Don Rodrigo. I forgot about that. He's supposed to let us through. Also, the inn in this town is really expensive. It's like, it's too expensive. Let's check out the rest of the town, though. Let's, uh, explore a little bit. It can't be 300, 300 gold. I was gonna check out the, the stores, though. And yeah, maybe it'll become a millionaire. If, I, if that casino gave out real money, I'd be so rich right now. It would not even be funny. But it doesn't give real money. So, what am I gonna do? Oh, there was a girl here who was reclining on the chair. I was going to talk to her. Ah, she's gone. I missed my opportunity. You know, what's funny is uh, every character in Dragon Quest, they don't, like, disappear at night. They actually go to bed, and they actually, like, you can find them somewhere in the town. All right, we're being really creepy now looking for that girl who was reclining. She was a dancer girl. And this girl was walking around outside a second ago. Oh, some gentleman said nice things about your clothes. Who's that guy? Wait, you met a gentleman on the way into town. Interesting. What does this guy have to say? He's a quest? Without proper pepper, the flavor is all wrong. Oh, pepper from Gondolia? Yeah, sure, I'll get it for him. Okay, 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 I don't care. Alright, I'll get your pepper, bud. Shiver me timbers, the quest. What are you cooking? Oh, seafood. That sounds very delicious. If I, if only I was a guest here and not loitering around. Maybe I could have some of that seafood. Uh, let's go upstairs. Actually, this guy's talking to his girlfriend. We should check out what they're saying. Did you know you can get onto the op uh, open sea if you sail through sea gates? Uh, sea gates aren't open because Don Rodrigo hasn't closed. We, they just got married and they're here for their honeymoon. Damn, these people are getting married. I'm too busy running around the world fighting evil, the forces of evil. Oh, I remember these people. They're talking about their kids and stuff. And that one guy said he wanted to send his daughter to camp. Oh, these are kids? Well, this is not weird at all. Let's just go back outside. They were. I remember they were sitting, they were sitting outside before. 
Anything in here? Nope, it doesn't look like it. It's so fun exploring random people's houses in this game. Alright, let's head back down and explore more houses before we talk to Don Rodrigo. Don Rodrigo, right? He is the man who trains all the knights in er Erdrea. They all go to him, to his, his academy. They train, and he teaches them about chivalry. He teaches them about honor. It's, pre it's pretty badass, and he also has like, his badass mustache. Like, wait, wait, wait. Six brightly colored orbs. Each kingdom had their own. Oh, interesting. Those must be the orbs we're looking for. Also, uh, the guy who who, who took the rainbow, this is his house. The guy who bought the rainbow from uh, from the Sultan. And he, he used the money that he spent to build this place. Uh, this must be an item shop. Let's view their wares. They even have an upstairs floor. Uh, souvenir. What kind of souvenirs do they have? Mittens, huh? Wow. The deafness will be higher. Fairy fluff? Well... I don't think I care about any of this stuff. Let's just go. Oh, I didn't even check the armor and weapon shop yet. Oh, who's this? Your sister? Oh, I remember her from outside. Yeah, Don Rodrigo teaches them sh swordsmanship, chivalry, and all that cavalero stuff. And the ones who make the grade, they get to join the Heliodorian army. So Hendrik must have come here when he was younger, right? Because he's he is a Heliodorian knight, so Don Rodrigo taught all of them. Who knows, maybe if things would be different, I would have been taught by uh, Don Rodrigo also. If if my kingdom had gone straight. Oh, hello there. I like her outfit. Many Don Rodrigo students buy their weapons from our shop. Alright, let's see what good stuff you got. Steel broadsword to make us all weaker. Lully stick will make her a bit stronger. Hypno whip. A battle fork. To be honest, there's nothing here that's that good. But we do need we, we do need armor. Armor is a higher priority, if I'm being honest. Okay, so let's see, 107, 140 for the headband. This is a defense. A bronze helmet. It's not going to do much, to be honest. It's kind of full plate. This is not like a. It doesn't make a huge difference. There's no point. Maybe getting a gold platter for Serena would be good. Or a steel shield for myself. I thought I had one already. This is too much money, though. Like seven more. Fine, I'll 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 get it for myself. All right, I gotta equip that, and I should sell my iron shield. I'm the only person who can even use the uh, who can use high heavy armor anyway. Okay, and I'll buy some bronze helmet or a feather headband or a steel shield. Yeah, I'll buy the bronze helmet. And that'll be it. And let's run upstairs and rummage through their things. Oh, they have a kid. Oh, they must be like, dear brother, come back safe. Is her brother off somewhere? Oh, they got a book here, too. A diary of Tattoo to Smith. Black Disappointment, the, me the metal school forbids men. It's a girl school. Interesting. What are they talking about? They come from a snowy country far, far north. The girl dancing on the beach over there. She understands. Oh, that must be the girl who's reclining there, Dave. Maybe we should go see her. There's a girl dancing on the beach. Ah, yes, I see her now. She was hanging out earlier. I gotta go talk to her, obviously. Oh, they're Heliodorian soldiers. Wow. He has a quest for me? You like bunny girls, see, Chico? I like bunny girls very much. No one in Urgera likes bunny girls as much as me. Well, I might want to argue with that. After all, I do like them quite a bit. I've loved them ever since I was a little boy. I saw bunny girls so beautiful, I was obsessed with the day forward. He's never seen another one. Oh, he likes Jade. Yeah, sure, I can, I can, I can put her, put one on for her. Ah, yes. 
Now, I'm sure you know the beautiful bunny costume is made up of three essential elements. Bunny ears, bunny suit, and a pair of fish and a toss stockings. Okay, cool. This guy's a man of culture. And he wants to see Jay dressed up, and I will fulfill his wish as he is my elder. Ah, yes, I do want to dance with her. Yes, let's get dancing now. Okay, let's go, uh... Point, um... Uh... Wait, wait. Hey, out of my way, Jade. Nobody likes you. I'm trying to dance here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, that's enough of that. There's no response he's lost in the music. You know, it's funny, I can't even hear the music. Maybe they should, like, next time in the next Dragon Quest, they should make actual music come out of the guy. But yeah, where the heck is Don Rodrigo? Let's stop wasting time. Let's go talk to him. It's been like 10 minutes, me just running around and running my mouth, talking about stupid stuff. Most famous honored Umbre in Puerto Valor. We may enter. I shall enter. This is, wow, Don Rodrigo is rich. That's what happens when you're a knight. Uh, must be his butler. After so many years, and your companions too, of course. I has a mullet. This guy looks kind of like Snake from Metal Gear Solid 4, doesn't he? Like with the mullet and the mustache. Just an observation. Good to see you looking so well, Cervantes. Now, I don't suppose Don Rodrigo's about for a wee chat, is he? Ah, lo siento, señor, so sorry. But I am afraid he has gone to Eliador. He's instructing the guards there in the art of swordsmanship, you see. Ah, uh, so Don Rodrigo's not here. You can't see his his awesome mustache. That's a shame. Ah, no, that's a shame. <laughs> I do so love our wee chats about fighting and horses and fighting. And fighting. <laughs> Don Rodrigo will be sorry to have missed you too, senor. He often speaks of your visits very fondly. So Rob, uh, Rab and uh, Don Rodrigo are good friends, even though he knows he's not a king. Well, I'm sure we'll have a chance for a proper chinwag next time I'm in town. Now, there's something I was wanting to ask you, Cervantes. I was hoping to head out to sea in search of more interesting topics of conversation. You couldn't open the sea gates for me, could you? It will be my pleasure, Senor Roberto. Can you imagine how angry Don Rodrigo would be if I refused? <laughs> I will open them right away. If you go and board your ship, you will be able to sail straight through. Great. <laughs> so that's what we needed. You're a good man, Cervantes. Thanks a million. And give my regards to Don Rodrigo, wouldn't you? The Rab really has a connection. He knows everyone, you know? He's been around the world. He, like, is so worldly. That he knows Don Rodrigo, even though Don Rodrigo doesn't know that Rab's a king. Alright, so we can head head onwards. Of course, we can't explore the place because we can't go in there. Don Rodrigo's not in there. Alright, bud. That's fine. Alright, here we go. This is the stuff we need. Someone's diary. Signorito Norberto defeated Senor Hendrick. Words can scarcely express how thrilled I was to see such a display. Norberto. Norberto left today. Years pass since Norberto left, and we still hear nothing. Senor Norberto. Chivalric ideal. This is good. Chivalry. All who dare to call themselves knights cher cherish this above all else. It is a criterion by which our worth is weighed. Do not shirk in your duties or your training. Strive to exceed your limitations, be they physical or mental, in all times. Whoever you encounter, be well-mannered and gentle. This is what it means to be a knight. Never go back on your word. These are important lessons to learn. Who's Norberto? Who do you think that is? Don Rodrigo had a son, but he ran away from home long ago, before I started working here. Interesting. So Don Rodrigo had a son who left. 
That's interesting. That must be Norberto. Onwards now. A lot of nasty looking monsters around here. Alright, so let's just rush through. Oh, if only I brought the horse, actually. That would be nice. There's a rideable slime knight. Okay, so the ship should be down there. It's nighttime right now, after all. Okay. Gonna have to cut through this cave right here. And there's a little sailboat that we took from the ship. Okay, so... <clears throat> he should be here. Oh, there he is. There's Dave, or Dov, or whatever his name is. Watch your boss back on board. It's dying, then, is it? Here we go. Onwards now. Wait, I don't even know where the heck I'm going. Oh, <laughs> I'm going the exact wrong way. Okay, so... And of course, we waste a lot of time. Well, this is as good an opportunity as any to test out my new sword. Alright, Eric. Show him what you got. My speed is so low, like... Eric's really fast compared to everyone else, but I gotta get faster. Wow, 42? Surrender your soul! soul. Alright, not too bad. Not too shabby. That's a good sword. Oh, Eric. Oh, no. Huh. Here we go. Alright, open the gates, Cervantes. His name is Cervantes and he's a servant. That's so funny. That's a good pun. Lowering the gates. There's our pal, Cervantes. Give him a nice thank you wave, everybody. Thank you, Cervantes. Waves. <laughs> what the heck? Why is Self hiding behind Eric? So, I don't know about you, but, uh, judging what, by what that girl said in the manner, why don't you just think about that and piece that together. You must know S S Savannah. At first, I had no idea what, what the deal was, and I'm sure some of you don't, some of you do. I'll just leave it at that. We don't need to talk about it more. I'll let the story unfold by itself. Now, um, there's a, a, sh a docking point up ahead. This is going to be tough because these uh, the enemies on this in this little canal it's are are they're stronger and you can't avoid them. I hate these mist guys. They're so fast. Ah, uh, everyone's dazzled. Oh my goodness. Mist, of course. You get it cuz they're mist. What if I flee? I won't. It won't it won't work, right? Yeah, I won't. I think DQ11 is the one game that has the hardest chance of fleeing. Like you really can't flee in this game. Oh wow. My new shield is pretty badass. Poked him right in the eye. Who else wants some? Who else wants some? Oh level 19. Mid heal. I'll use the skill points later. 
Oh, 300 monsters I've killed already. Wow. That's impressive, gotta say. Whoa, what was that? Ah, there's like a beam of light going upwards. Alright, what is this right here? Getting misty out. Or foggy, as they would say. Ugh, where did all this horrible fog come from? I can't see a thing. Hey, Sylv, what's going on? I'm truly mystified. But whatever it is, I don't like it. Steering hard a starboard! Mists are clearing. I can see light up ahead. All right, we're finally getting out of the mist. Where in the world are we? Oh my! Look at that. The shipwreck. What do you think, Dove? Sorry, Dolph. They just call me Dollface. Wish you'll go free. Sorry, you haven't a clue where we are. The island doesn't appear on many of my maps. Oh no. Is the stallion stuck here? Rab. What's he looking at? Judging by the shape of the prow of this state of this planks, I would I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if this boat was built long before I was <laughs> born. I can't help wondering if we've strayed into the Valorian Triangle. The Valorian Triangle. Like the the Bermuda Triangle, except the Dragon Quest version of that. Ah, here we go. This is the good stuff. Ah, a mini metal. Completely worthless. Completely and utterly worthless. Until you get 200 of them. Eric, what, what do you think? Something is not right about this place. No wind, no waves. It's almost feels like time stopped altogether. Serena. What a pretty li little island this is. Handsome Prince. The little island from the picture book you read. I wonder what picture book is she's talking about. Oh. Can I grab that? It's mine. A sun bleached sea. Why the hell do I want a seashell? What well, use is that? All right, Veronica and her little, little cute little outfit. There's absolutely nothing here. Let's not waste any more time than we have to. All right, Jade, what do you think? What a strange place. It's almost like being in a dream. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, darling, is it really you? My dearest darling, Kai? I've waited for you ever since the day we said goodbye. Oh my goodness, this girl. She always rhymes. Disappointed to see us. <laughs> oh, well, then, she's a fish person. Hold on, are you a mermaid? Well, it looks like that. So she always rhymes. That's the thing about these mermaids in the Dragon Quest universe. They speak in rhymes all the time. My name's Michelle. I'm sorry if I gave you all a fright. It, it's just I thought my car was back and I got all excited. Okay, that's kind of cheating. Fright it. Like, she just threw that in there. Wow. I can't believe I'm talking to a real live mermaid. Anyway, who's this Kai you keep talking about? 
He's a tender-hearted fisherman from Lona Lulu Bay. He promised he would meet me here upon our wedding day. Your wedding day? I didn't even think humans and mermaids could get married. At first I was the same. I thought we'd never be together. I thought the mermaid's burden would keep us apart forever. The mermaid's burden. For if a mermaid leaves the sea and makes the land her home, if ever she gets wet again, she melts away to foam. But when I told my Kai I couldn't come to live with him, he said, in that case, Shell, you better teach me how to swim. And so I got the blessing of the Queen beneath the sea. He's going to come to Nautica and live down there with me. He's going to live down there with you. How's he going to do that? He's a human. Oh, that's wonderful news. Congratulations. Okay. But he's supposed to meet me here so we can be together. And I've been waiting for him now for what feels like forever. I know he'd never break his word. He's not that sort of person. But the longer that he stays away, the more my worries worsen. I know it's rude to ask you, but I beg, I plead, I pray. Could you go to Lona Lulu and make sure my Kai's okay? Hmm. So you're from the bottom of the sea? Where the giant pearl from the story went. I wonder. Giant pearl. Is she perhaps talking about the next orb that we need? <laughs> How about this? If we go and check on your fiance, will you take us down to see the queen? Good thinking, Veronica. To pay for such a kindness, it's the least that I can do. I'll sing my song and safely sink your ship and all your crew. If anyone knows the truth about this giant pearl, it's the Queen of the Sea. If it leads us to another one of the orbs, it's worth helping, wouldn't you say? Listen, this is not a good idea. I played this game last year, and this is going to be a waste of time, so I'm going to say no. Whoa. Oh, I'm sorry. I had a sudden urge to stretch my legs. Let me ask you that again. If anyone knows the truth I'm gonna say no because I just kind of want her to do that to me again. She doesn't realize that I actually like it. Oh, I'm sorry. I had a sudden urge to stretch my legs. Let me ask you that again. If anyone. Okay, I'll say yes now. Thank you, thank you, all of you. I'd be indebted to you if you could try to find him in the town of Lona Lulu. Yep. <clears throat> I'll mark the village on your map. It's to the south of Hotto, a beautiful blue bay behind an isolated grotto. My Kai is a famous fisherman, as ragged as the ocean. A hunky, chunky sailor stuffed with smoldering emotion. Yes, okay. <laughs> oh, now I'm all embarrassed. Hey, don't tell him what I said. Just bring my darling back so we can finally be wed. <laughs> That's very shallow water she disappeared in. Alright, team. Let's move out. Oh, where's Veronica? Oh, yeah. Forgot. She's in my pocket. Hello, Michelle. Now, this is gonna be really, really annoying. Sailors hate her kind. This is gonna be really annoying because it's it's a really far away. Like, oh, I don't even know where we are actually. Yeah, so we're at, we're in the middle of nowhere. Uh, where the heck is Dov? Okay, there he is. I had a word with that Michelle, lovely girl, and you ain't gonna believe what it is. She's only gonna use her mermaid powers to get the stallion back and moving again. We can leave her. She used her mermaid powers. What's your boss back aboard a stallion then? Is it? Uh, yeah, I think so. All right, let's check out the map. All right, you see that corner right at the far bottom right hand corner? That's Lana Lulu, so that's a really, really long, long way there. It's annoying, but 
We gotta do it. How about that island on the way? We should check out that island. Yeah, that island right there. Let's do a pit stop there. Might be good. Might, might be some good loot here. I think there's nothing here, actually, now that I think about it. Oh, damn. These guys are annoying. They're fast. Oh, crap. Leave Eric alone. I wish I could just kick all their asses at the same time. Alright, uh, Spinchilla. Oh, that didn't do anything. And if Veronica was here, she'd be able to bang all of them. Oh, you dazzle. Oh, so much for dazzling me. Harvest Moon. Like the video game. Okay. Well, that was We're all really tough. Come on. Hopefully there's somewhere to here to rest. Okay. Handy heal all. If you're in the middle of the field and you need a quick fix up, open the menu, press the Y button to perform handy heal all. Yes, I'm aware of that. Insula Incognita. What's up? Remember when we were running for the guards and caves on our Helidor? Wanting the world alone had his plus points. We've gone on a proper adventure with a gang of three blue but uh, true blue buddies. That's not bad either. Eric's enjoying himself. Whoa. He's asking me. <laughs> the typical grandpa asking me if I had a girlfriend yet. <laughs> when I was your age, I had to beat the girls away with a stick. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> oh man, he's great. He's asking me if I had a girlfriend. We need to cross the ocean. Rab, he, he he had to beat the girls away with a stick. <laughs> well, he was the king after all. I mean, I imagine women will be very attracted to him. Well then, there's a lot of hammer hoods. There's some trolls here. Uh, there's some blue sparkly things around here too. Oh man, there's brownies all over the place here. Oh, whoa, whoa, this is like a crop circle, isn't it? This is weird. What's what's the deal with the markings on the floor? I wish I could see them from like a higher vantage point. Really interesting. This is really weird. I wish I could. Uh, I can't really see uh, from up from here, but that that's weird. Is there a higher vantage point around here? I've never seen anybody talk about this before. Uh, is there like a place I can stand and look? It's all nonsensical from here. I can't tell anything. That's weird. Uh. You know, let's go around and then we can look at it from the top. Hope I don't have to hack the game and try to do like a camera mod. Oh crap, these are guy giant cyclopses. We're not really strong enough to beat them yet, but... And we probably don't even have a key for this door. No, I don't have the jail key. The thieves key. In Dragon Quest VIII, you get the thieves key relatively early. You get it like a couple hours into the game. Alright, what the heck is this? What is this? I never even noticed this before. There's like... I, I don't know what this is. What the heck? Insula Incognita. It's like some sort of drawing? Is it like a monster or something? I don't know what I'm looking at. Very weird. I'm just like looking at this thinking what I what, what am I looking at? Maybe it's like a dragon or something? I have no clue. There's no NPCs on this island either, is there? Just a bunch of trolls. Not of the uh, the internet quality variety. Alright, this is a waste of time. Let's head back to the boat and go back. Yeah, I don't remember this at all. I, I gotta talk to my friends about this, because this is really strange. 
If you know any, if you have any theories or anything, let me know. I really like the overall theme of Dragon Quest XI. It's really great. All right, where's Dov? There he is. All right, now we are going that way. This is behind all the kingdoms and everything. Oh my goodness, it's behind Hato. Right, because Hato's right over there. Okay, okay, come on. Jeez. That's raining too. Can we flee? Alright, you know who I'm gonna choose? I'm gonna choose, um... Alright, Veronica, you're gonna listen to me. She's following orders, of course. You are going to follow orders. And we're gonna have a good time. Hey, leave her alone. Alright, bang. Bang. Hip drop. That's a good one. It's very suggestive. See, what can he, what can he use? Crackle. Right, good job. Jeez, Ronka cannot catch a break. Handsome crab, that's what it was called. Oh, Eric leveled up. Alright, heading onwards. Close, I think. Ah, jeez. I would run, but it's not- you're not gonna be able to run. Hit that guy. But my attack is actually stronger when I don't use Flame Slash now. Sylvando leveled up. Oh, cool. I'll show you an ex a cool exploit with the pep, pep powers also later on. Oh, what is this? Secret area? Or not, you can't you can't dock here. There's some boats over there. These guys are really annoying. Hey, comments on it. I missed. Okay, I didn't do anything. There's some boats. Nice. Uh, 
Oh. They can talk to me from all over there. There's Lon Lulu right there. That wasn't too bad. Okay, nice. Nice job. Alright, where's the team at? There's a dog over there. Oh, hello there. So, you know that traveler from Octagonia who was getting scammed by the dude? I think he's from, uh, he's from here. He's from Lon Lulu, because he, uh, he's a bit darker skinned and he had this, the outfits that they wear here, the green. Makes sense. So he was like a traveler. I wonder if his mom's in here at, in the village, actually. Shell tells me is home to the prettiest pals in all the world. His, his impersonation is really good. <gasps> pals! <laughs> Bright blue waves, pure white sands, and fabulous jewels just lying on the beach. Truly, darlings, this is the promised land. Ellen, Lana Lulu. Promising that I expected. Where is everybody? Something's not right here. Still, it's not our problem. Let's just find this Kai guy and get out of here. Hello there. What does she have to say? Kai's mom's up at the church. Oh, so Kai is here then. Hello, cat. There's a lot of people here. Oh, hello. She only got married last month and he went off to fight the tank attackular. Oh, hopefully he's okay. Crazy woman who lives in our village. She's totally purple. Oh, she... she pupil... She goes up to the top of the cliff and fires a cannon. Oh, that cannon up there? I don't see it, actually. Interesting, so she has a cannon. Hello? There's an enormous tentacular appeared in the sea nearby. This Kahuna, this village. I wish I could go sail with them, but it's too old and frail. So he's like the leader. I wonder where their religious place is up to the very end. We'll make our way there. What the heck? These are the kids. What are they doing here? Where's their parents? Anybody here? Hello? Oh, she's sick. Oh no. Well, they're good kids, I think, because they're taking care of the business while she's sick. Now, where am I going to sleep? I guess I should get some rest. She's not feeling too good. Yeah, I'll stay. Oh, wait. A hundred? I did not want to spend a hundred. Okay, a little rip-off artists. We'll, get, we'll move on. Ah, they got a, they got a bar here. Not very lively. You know what, let's go save and then we'll explore uh, afterwards. Should be through here. Uh, yeah, this way maybe. Yeah, this is where it is. This has to be it. Hello? Came all this way here to find some famous pearls, but a giant squid has other ideas. Oh no. So there's a giant squid attacking the area. And the church is still up ahead. It's really far back behind the, the town. Wow, it's behind this gate. They have a gate for their church for once. 
Here we go. Show. Are you all paying attention? Good. Then I'll tell you the tale of the terrible curse that befell our village long ago. I love Veronica's kind of blending in with them. Like, <laughs> I didn't realize she was there at first. The curse of a crafty creature with a face as pretty as a pearl, but a heart as black as coal. Now, let's begin. Once upon a time, a master fisherman lived in Lanalulu. He caught more fish and gathered more pearls than any of the other men in the village. The mayor of Lanalulu, the big kahuna, was very fond of this fisherman and offered him the hand of his beloved daughter. The fisherman and the kahuna's daughter agreed to be married and the future of the village looked bright. Until the day of the storm. The fisherman was caught up in a terrible tempest, and he and his catch were thrown into the ocean. As he sank through the water, he saw the pearls he had gathered shining like stars all around him. The light faded, and he prepared to meet his maker. But instead, he met her. A mermaid more beautiful than any creature he had seen before. She held him in her arms and whispered in his ear. I will give you your life if you give me your soul. That's pretty scary. <laughs> I got pretty freaked out when I first heard that. Many days passed and the fisherman did not return. The people of the village thought him dead and held a funeral for him on the beach. But just as they were beginning to sing his soul into the next world, he appeared, exhausted but alive. The kahuna's daughter was overjoyed to have her beloved home and stayed by his bedside night and day, nursing him back to health. But the fisherman was no longer the man she knew. All day he would stare out to sea, muttering over and over, I must marry that mermaid. Then one day, he threw his fiancée aside and ran to the harbor, screaming, I must go back to her! The kahuna was furious. He banished the fisherman from the village and burned his boat so he could never set sail again. And so, the man who was once the pride of Lanalulu spent the rest of his days alone on Saikiki Beach, haunted by the mermaid who stole his soul. What a story. That's all for today, children. I'll tell you the rest of the story tomorrow. Mermaids are scary! Whoa! The mermaid's coming to steal our souls! Run! Run! Aloha, friends. Is there anything I can do for you? Maybe. We're looking for a fisherman called Kai. Do you know where we can find him? Oh, my! What a coincidence! You must be looking for my son, I'm afraid he's not here at the moment. 
All the men have sailed west to fight the giant squid that's been attacking our ship. So this is Kai's mom. If you want to hurry things along, maybe you could go lend a hand. Once that monster's dealt with, they'll all come back to the village, sure enough. Oh, it looks like another boss fight. But be wary, friends. That squid isn't the only danger out on the seas. Don't let a crafty mermaid make you all pupule. I'd hate to see you go crazy. Doesn't I have an old lady voice? She's like a young lady voice. Now let's see what the team thinks. Where's the where's the the, the gang at? <laughs> oh. Veronica's really pissed. Had to see and find the fishing fleet. Alright, well. The fishermen are fighters. They don't stand a chance. Okay, so Tentacular is really tough. So obviously, when you're fighting a tough enemy, you must save. If you don't save, you're gonna die. Alright. Seafarer. Okay, save. Ah, oh, it's almost 20 hours. It's not too bad, uh, not too bad at all. Alright, you know what? I think that's been a lot of exploring for today. We'll end today's episode here. Uh, next episode, we'll go off to sea and fight that tentacular. And we'll, you know, talk to Kai. So, yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.